everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about amoebiosis. Amoebiosis is also called as amoebic dysentery. It is a disease caused by a protozoan known as Entamoeba histolytica. Entamoeba histolytica is cosmopolitan in nature or it is worldwide in distribution. This disease is very common in rural area as well as in densely populated urban area where the sanitary condition is very poor. This Entamoeba histolytica is a microscopic organism and it lives as an endoparasite in the upper part of the large intestine of human being. Upper part means it is present in the colon of the large intestine of human being. This Entamoeba histolytica being an endoparasite, it feeds on the tissues of wall of the large intestine. So thereby it results in the severe ulcer and abscesses, which is a main symptom of this amoebiosis or amoebic dysentery. Other symptoms of the amoebiosis includes diarrhea, which alternate with the constipation, abdominal pain, cramps, stool with the excess of mucus and the blood clot. In severe cases, this parasite may spread to the other organ where it may cause ulcer and the abscesses during which it may be fatal also. This entamoeba histolytica mainly occurs in two forms that is trophozoid form and precystic form. We will discuss these two forms one by one. First one is trophozoid form. It is also called as magna form and it is a diagram of a trophozoid. Trophozoid is the adult form of the parasite and this trophozoid form is an active feeding motile and pathogenic to man. Pathogenic to man means it is this trophozoid which feeds on the tissues of wall of the large intestine which results in the formation of abscesses and ulcer. This trophozoid is a purely amoeboid form which measures about a 10 to 14 micron in size. The cytoplasm of the trophozoid is divided into outer ectoplasm and inner endoplasm. The inner endoplasm consisting of large nucleus, many number of ingested RBC and the large number of a food vacuole. And this food vacuole consisting of ingested bacteria, tissue fragments, leukocytes etc. So that is about the structure of trophozoids which is also called as magna form. And the second form is precystic form. It is also called as minuta form. This is a diagram of a precystic form. In contrast to trophozoid, precystic form is a small, spherical, non-motile, non-feeding form. It measures of about 7 to 10 micron in size. It is this form by which the infection spreads. Means the infection spreads from one person to another person in this form. That is in the precystic form or minuta form. That is about the structure of a precystic form. Now let me talk about the life history of Entamoeba histolytica. This is a diagram showing the life cycle of Entamoeba histolytica. Entamoeba histolytica is monogenetic in nature. Monogenetic means it requires only one host to complete its life cycle and the host is obviously man. Let me start the life cycle with the precystic form because it is by precystic form the infection spreads from one person to another person. This precystic form under certain circumstances will remain small and live in the lumen of the intestine. Soon it undergoes the process called as encystment. Before encystment, this precystic form rounds up and it eliminates the food vacuole. All the food materials are stored in the form of glycogen granules and the black rod-like structure called as chromatoid bodies. Later, it secretes cyst wall around itself. At this stage, this cyst is mononucleate. Mononucleate means it has only one nucleus. Later, this nucleus divides twice. At the end of the first division, it becomes binucleate cyst. At the end of second nuclear division, it becomes quadranucleate cyst or tetranucleate cyst. This tetranucleate cyst is infective to new host. Now, this encysted form move out of the host body along with the fecal matter. This infective cyst will remain alive for a long time outside the human intestine under favorable condition. 
Infections to new host occur if a person swallows this infective cyst contaminated with the water and the food. Housefly as well as cockroaches can also act as a mechanical carrier which transmit this infective cyst from the fecal matter of the infected person to the food and the food product thereby contaminating them. Once this infective cyst enters the human large intestine of new host, the process called as existment begins. During existment, this tetranucleate amoeba will emerge from the cyst through a small pore which is present in the cyst wall. At this stage, it is called as metacystic amoeba. Now, this metacystic amoeba undergoes series of nuclear and cytoplasmic division to form next generation of trophozoids. At the end of the series of nuclear and cytoplasmic division, it forms eight uninucleate amoebulae. It is also called as metacystic trophozoid. Now, this metacystic trophozoid feeds on the content and the tissues of the large intestine and grow in size to form trophozoid. This trophozoid again repeats the same cycle in the new host or maybe in the same host. So that is how this endamoeba histolytica lives in the human large intestine and causes amoebiosis or amoebic dysentery. I hope this video will be useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.